Hey everyone, Mafia306 here again with part 2 of squaring large numbers mentally in your head. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video in the series, then I suggest you watch that now. Uh, for those of you that have, let's go on ahead and get started. Because uh, I do have a lot that I want to show you and only 10 minutes to do it in. So, in this video, we'll be squaring large numbers uh, over 200. Uh, anywhere from 200 to 999. So let's just start really simply. We've got 201 times 201. And again, I know I mentioned this in my last video, but I know you can see the reflection uh, on my whiteboard, and I apologize for that. Uh, so 201 times 201. So here, our base is 200. Our base is 200 this time. So we look at our number, 201. 201 is 1 away from our base of 200, so 1. Now we're going to take that distance and double it, and you get 2. And now this number, 2, you add back to your base. Here it's 200, so you get 202. Now in part 1, when we did numbers of 100, um, we were just going ahead and square this other number and tack it on to the end. Here though, because our base is 200, we have to actually multiply this number by 2. All right? So multiply by 2, you get 404. And now this 404 is the first three, these, this number here is the first three numbers of your answer. Uh, and then you take your number, in this case 1, and square it and tack it on to the end. So you get 40,401. Right, let's do that again. Let's do uh, 208. 208 times 208. Here, uh, our number 208 is 8 away from our base of 200. So 8 times 2. 16, we doubled the distance. Now we add this number 16 back to our base of 200, so you get 216. Now, because our base is 200 here, we have to double this. So, double this number, you get 432. And then this number squared, 8 squared, is just 64. So tack that on to the end. And there you have it. 43,264. Now, you might be asking, okay, that's all fine and everything, but you said we're going to go up to 1,000. You can, but the math gets very complicated. Um, let's look at uh, 504, just to keep it simple. 504 times 504. All right. Here, our base is 500. So we look at our number, 504. We're four away from our base of 500. So four. Now we're going to double the distance, as usual, and we get eight. So we take eight, add it to our base, we get 508. Now, since our base is 500, we have to multiply this number by 5. And now this is why it gets tedious to, mentally to do in your head. This is easy enough to do in your head. 508 times 5 is 2540. But if you've got, you know, 571 and you've got to multiply that by 5, that's a little bit more difficult. So, anyway, here, 508, we're going to multiply it by 5. Because our base is 500, we get 2540. 2540 are the first numbers of our answer. Now we do 4 squared, 16. And we know just by how many digits our answer is that we just add it to the end. So our answer is 254,016. Let's try a little bit harder example. When the, and I'm just doing this on the fly, so I might not be able to do this in my head very quickly. <laughs> Uh, as a matter of fact, I might even have to cheat a little bit. Don't tell anyone. Uh, let's see. 
let's do 851 times 851. All right. Here, our base is 800. So our distance away is 51. So we're 51 units away from our base. We're going to take this distance and double it. We get 102. Now we take 102 and add it to our base of 800. We get 902. Now we take 902. Since our base is 800, we multiply this number by 8. And again, this is why this gets tedious, because if you're doing something like 900 and something squared, you're going to have potentially 1,700 times 9. You know, 1, 000, think 1,764 times 9. You don't really want to do that in your head. And this is also why it's important to be able to, be, be able to do these numbers squared quickly, because we're going we're gonna to be doing 51 squared here in just a minute. You need to be able to do that on the fly in order for this method to really work. So anyway, 902 times 8 is uh, 7216. So we know that this is the first part of our answer. Now 51 squared, we know 51 squared is 2601. Now when you try to tack that all together, you get 72162601. But now let's kind of think about our answer a little bit. 851 times 851 we know that 1,000 times 1,000 is 1 million. Well, here, if we just stick everything together, we've got 72 million. So we know that our answer has to be less than 1 million, just because 1,000 squared is 1 million. So we're going to go 7216. So our answer is going to be 721,000 six something. What do we do? We take this 2601, fit it onto the end such that we get a six digit number. So 0162. Let me write that a little bit neater. Sorry about that. I have very poor penmanship. So 70, and you see when we add these numbers together, we'll get a six digit number that is our answer. So we just add them together 1, 0, 12, 4, 2, 7. 724,201. So if you can sort of mentally picture this, and you know, I, I can mentally picture it, but I'm writing it out here visually so that you know you guys can follow it. But if you're able to picture this in your head and do it, then more power to you. Um, you can really amaze some people. So 851 squared, 724,201. So that concludes this video. I thank all of you for watching and. I think I'm going to continue this series with uh, some calculus videos to start. If anybody would like me to do any pre-calculus or trigonometry videos, uh, let me know, uh, preferably before I start uh, making my calculus videos. Um, but if you have any suggestions or anything in particular that you would like to see, then just send me a comment or a message on here and let me know and I'll put up a video on it as soon as I get a chance. Thanks for watching.